four times a week tuesday thursday saturday and sunday but i've been uploading every day so just subscribe you know today i am doing a wig review and this is on janet collections kiss part orbit um we're just gonna call her kiss and i have her in the color diamond and it says that she's heat safe up to 360 degrees synthetic premium fibers she comes in a couple a couple colors this is a full cap wig and I have done a few things to it prior to this video, so let me get her and show you. I scooped her up from, <sighs> what did I scoop her up from? Oh, Sam's Beauty for $15.99. So this is her. I love the color of this wig. Like I love this diamond coloring so much. You can see that she is a full cap wig. There are no combs in the front. Uh, there's no combs in the back, but there are adjustable straps. This is a parting space and she has one of those skin top parting, which I actually don't mind too much. So in order to make it look more realistic, you can see here, I actually cut a small V into the wig cap um, so I could blend it a little bit more. So let's see what happens. She is a silkier texture. She's not She's a little textured, but I wouldn't describe it as like a yakky. Ooh, ooh, I love this coloring. So because she doesn't have, I mean, her ear tabs are, she's got ear tab. This is where she wants to sit. She wants to be a side part. Um, I could shift her a little bit and that's probably what I will do. She's only, yeah, it's definitely silkier. She's only about, at the very longest, she's gonna be 18 inches. Density's nice. She's giving me that sort of like, I just went and swam and it's like wet. So if we pull it back a little bit so that that V goes back, if you wanted to, you could bring some leave out. And leave out is when you pull your, I'll do a little bit, I have a, a few minutes. I'll do a little bit just to show you. So I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm gonna pull a little bit of my hair just on one side because it's gonna be parted a little bit off. And then I'm going to take, this is my favorite little edge cream, and it's called Cream of Nature with Argan Oil Perfect Edges, a toothbrush, and I just stick it right in there. And then what I'm going to do is comb down these baby hairs and sort of gel them down a little bit. And I go back through with my rat tail comb, come on hair, and just sort of shape this a little bit, and I'm going to pull her down. I don't like that she doesn't have any combs or anything. I don't mind this wig at all. I feel like she has some humpiness, so I am going to, I'm gonna get some of these hair clips and clip these hairs down, and then I'm gonna apply heat to the areas that I think are a little bit, see how it's like a little humpy. Um, and what I'm essentially doing is I'm melting these fibers down so that they lay a little bit flatter and they meld more with my hair. So I'm gonna take my curling wand and I'm just gonna run this across. I don't let it sit on any one spot for any length of time, especially like I feel like silkier wigs, you know, have a more tendency where you could actually, you know, melt it or burn it in a way that you don't want to. So I just keep moving it and I just run it along my head and then it just sort of like melts the fibers to my head. With these skin top parting, there is a little bit of a, you know, this sticks up a little bit. So I really want to get this as flat as possible. Be careful not to burn yourself because I do that a lot. And for me, in terms of making it look realistic, this front area is where I need to try to get it to lay the flattest. So you can see it's flatter even now. I'm just gonna run this all the way back along the skin top parting. And people always ask me, I don't have like a temperature thing on here, but I have it set to, it's set to like 25. I actually got this from like the Salvation Army for like $2. <laughs> and it's like my holy grail wig tool. Oh, and don't burn yourself like I just did. I have all these scars from burning myself. If you are afraid you might burn yourself, a tip is like you can just do this and pull it taunt but pull it back away from your and just do it like that. 
pull it back away from your actual head. You can even see how much flatter that's laying. Wow, wow, wow. So I'm just gonna run through and sort of meld this to my hair, not to my hair, meld it to my head shape. And I really like to meld the front because I don't like bangs on my face. That's just my personal preference. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I actually think I'm gonna spray it. Let's go ahead and run the brush through it. I just, I love these like ashy layers, this ashiness. Sort of a brownish, like a dirty brown gray. I actually really like this wig, honestly. I don't particularly hate full cap wigs. I just think like it can be, um, it can be a little hit or miss actually. Okay, so um, we're gonna finish off by putting powder in the part and I'm also gonna put powder along this area. So I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Cool Beige 10, like it's in shade Cool Beige 10. And this is a little brush that I got. It's made for eyeliner. It's from the Creme Shop. And it's like a little toothbrushy type situation. And I feel like it just fits right in the part perfectly. I think I got this at TJ Maxx or Ross or something. So I'm just gonna follow that along with this. Adding part in uh, powder, <laughs> adding powder that matches my skin tone. And then I just tap it in just to like tap the powder in so it's not sort of sitting on the actual hairs and it just goes right in. This is my other favorite brush. This is from Wet n Wild. And it's just, I think it's their large eyeshadow brush or something. But I'm gonna take some of this powder and what I like to do is go right in here and then tap, tap, tap it in. So this all melds sort of together and it just looks like my own hair, my own scalp and my own hairline and all that. You know, she's a silky girl. It's just something to keep in mind. I'm gonna actually try to, I'm gonna try to melt this together a little bit better because I don't like when it separates like that. I might just have to spray it. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Let's spray her. I'm gonna use this uh, got to be glued free spray. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go, girl. All right, I really like this wig. Um, this is an older wig, you can get it super cheap. And I just wanna do this little like talk tutorial, you know, tutorial just to show you that you can like make a cheap wig look nice. The actual counter before editing on my screen is 12 minutes and 20 seconds so that's with the little introduction and everything so 12 minutes to get this chick together is like nothing yeah what do you think of her do you like her all right well there's a little talkatorial thing um if you have this wig and you like it please put it down below if you have this wig and it didn't work for you um also put it down below and maybe some of the techniques that i showed you today will help if there's another janet collection wig you would like me to review put that down below as well if you haven't subscribed please do so and if you have thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye